I'm Tori Dunn and reporting a lack of inventory, high prices, and an increased interest rate, all adding to more barriers to buy in for first time home buyers here in South Florida. It's just frustrating because as soon as you get there and you find something that you like, it's like it, it evaporates before you can even do anything with it. Weston Albury is a first time home buyer battling it out in South Florida. He says he's having trouble competing in the Jupiter Gardens North Palm area. He says he's up against cash buyers, investors. With the interest rates being what they are, financing is just so expensive. You know, the last rate I got quoted was seven and a half percent. Whereas if you look at what it was two, three years ago, you know, your monthly payment is just so much higher. He's relatively new to the Sunshine State. I'm originally from the Bahamas and I moved over here after Hurricane Dorian. Um, so I've been renting since then and I'm looking for, you know, place to call my own. Soaring home prices and higher interest rates mean you might need more income to buy a home. According to a new Redfin report, cash buyers make up about 40% of starter home buyers. The amount of pressure that is put, being put on the market with buyers is tremendous. Some of the key features that Mike Ivan Sevick is a managing broker for Illustrated Properties. He met us at the new Alton community in Palm Beach Gardens. Affordability is, is, is tough. Our demand is so high that I don't see a change coming. According to Redfin, first time buyers need to earn 13% more than a year ago to afford a typical starter home. That equates to about $64,500 per year an increase of about 7,200. In South Florida, those numbers are even higher. The other challenges that we're having in the houses that are affordable are is the insurance. The age of the roofs, the condition, even getting to the closing table is tough. Redfin states Miami first-time buyers need 25% more income. In West Palm Beach, you need an income of nearly 65,000 to afford a $245,000 home and the monthly payments that come with it. It's hard to get a house under $400,000 in Northern Palm Beach County, if not almost impossible. When you start doing the search on the MLS and you start putting the parameters in there, you really narrow it down to a dozen homes, maybe, if you're lucky. Luck and timing, plus practicing what's hardest of all. I would say patience. Troy Dunn in WPTV News Show 5.